Hey y'all, this is my trip to Peru. It was one of the most amazing places I've ever been. I hope you enjoy. Um, I do speak Spanish, so it was a little bit easier for me to kind of get around here. Um, but again, I went on a study abroad in college, so I was with a bunch of other people and faculty and the trip was all planned out for us. It was wonderful. This is some pictures from our first day. We visited this place where they made all of these little ceramic uh, kind of things to like tchotchkes to put around the house and I got some of them and they're really beautiful. I'm so thankful to have a lot of stuff from Peru. The Inca Cola, delicious. If you know, you know, it's one of the only um, kind of sodas I will drink. And this is us driving into kind of the slums area. It was crazy. We did a little bit of service work there. We hung out with some kids, but it's crazy because that view that you saw is all that these kids see. They don't even know that the beautiful city of Lima is just right below them. Like something like this, this mall is right below them, but all they really see is those slums. So that was crazy. Um, a Sydney store. The focus of this trip was kind of like supporting small businesses and making change in the world and whatnot. So we were able to support a lot of local artists and buy from them. That's kind of downtown Lima. Um, the weather was really beautiful. It was warm. We went in March. Uh, it was still pretty warm. Beautiful library. Um, yeah, this is kind of their more historical buildings inside of a really nice church, a really big Catholic church. Me standing up and then in the fog in the back is kind of the slums that we went to. So it's crazy. Lima is a huge city, not super diverse, honestly. A lot of just uh, Peruvian people. But yeah, that's a beautiful sunset on near this mall that we went to. Uh, I was vegan at the time, so this is a vegan burger. This was really cool. We went to this house and this person, this family made this whole meal for us in the ground. They cooked everything in the ground, um, as you can see through this process here. The potatoes, corn, potatoes and corn are huge exports of Peru, so that was really cool. Um, and then they also were making some thread things, like blankets and whatnot, and a cute little bird was up there. So it was really cool to just see people doing this right um, just kind of outside, at, outside of someone's house, just hanging out. And so now they're pulling out the food it was so delicious. Again, sweet potato, potato, corn, um, artichoke, I think. Unfortunately, they do eat guinea pigs there. So this was, that's a big thing that they eat. So that was the guinea pig kind of farm. Um, that was unfortunate. And then we were able to go out on the water and listen to these sea lions. Like, listen to this yelling. It sounds like yelling. It's sea lions. Like, can you believe that? I didn't go in the water as well as one of my other girlfriends because we had just gotten tattoos and we didn't want them to get infected. Also, I really just didn't feel like getting wet in the water and going about the rest of the day. But that was insane. We did this really amazing cooking class. Again, I got to make a lot of vegan options. Beautiful. I think this is called a causa. And oh, it was so delicious. A lot of potato stuff there. The ceviche, which I've had again uh, with mushrooms when it's typically made with fish that's a beautiful sunset outside the cooking class we made some donuts from scratch at the end just as like a little surprise and oh my gosh they drink that tea right there that that cocoa tea um they eat a lot of like the cocoa leaves like that you make cocaine out of but they just drink or they chew on the leaves the coca leaves um just to like give them energy and whatnot the peruvian people so that was just kind of like hilarious to us um, yeah, so now we're making our way into the Machu Picchu area. We stopped at this restaurant, which was apparently on The Bachelor or The Bachelorette or something like that. I do not really watch those shows, so I'm not sure. But we had this really amazing buffet lunch. Everything's really colorful, a lot of tile, very, like, Latin, Spanish feel to things. It's just a beautiful garden. We got to see the llamas, and that was my roommate, Kate. We're still really good friends. We just instantly got along so well, even though we had not met at our college until this trip. Uh, that's just hilarious. Just her with a llama. There's llamas and alpacas everywhere. That might actually be an alpaca. I'm sorry if I am wrong. Um, and then us taking a train. We were in Lima and now we're heading to Cusco. This is a uh, Machu Picchu town because we're getting ready to go up Machu Picchu. And this was just breathtaking. I loved this part of the trip. We didn't really have to hike that much. It would be really cool to be able to hike, but it was just beautiful views all around. I really, really love Machu Picchu and the mystery behind it. And just all these beautiful pictures, it's hard to believe it's really real. Again, a lot more of the alpacas, they're just chilling. Like, how did they get up there? Nobody really seems to know. <laughs> um, yeah, it was kind of cloud, like the clouds since you're up so high, but it wasn't really cloudy. 
and we just hiked around there for a while. So beautiful. As you can see, there's just like a little hike we were doing there. And it's crazy to think that that was really built just by people like us. Me and Kate, we up at the top of our hike. Kate is a yoga teacher and she led this little like five minute yoga guided meditation type of deal on top of the mountain. And that was just amazing. It was like, how are we really doing this? And again, this is kind of going back into the town. Beautiful. I have this picture framed in my apartment overnight stay. Um, another guinea pig farm, which I liked a little bit better because they weren't so cooped up. They were just roaming free. Um, this is some more, that's the guinea pig farm as well, but we were trying this drink, this like Peruvian drink that's fruity, a lot of grapes and um, kind of like sangria, but without the alcohol. Yep, we're at another farm here. I'm trying to remember what we were doing here. I think just kind of, again, we could buy stuff from this place if we wanted. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful layout here of everything. Some more um, kind of historical sites in Cusco, a food market. We stayed in a really nice hotel, which is here, and we were kind of just able to explore around Cusco until we went back. That's me getting the tattoo, which I have since covered up, but it was still safe and everything, and um, it's just become a grander design of the same thing. Thank you for watching this video, and stay tuned for the next travel vlogs. Let me know if you like it, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all soon. Thank you.